Scott Rappaport has a preview. A get together with Garth Brooks. An interview with Imus. A solitary moment in his office. All photos included in a poignant tribute to John Kennedy Jr. by some of the people who miss him most. Staffers at his beloved George magazine. This picture of Kennedy with then-Congresswoman Pat Schroeder in her Capitol Hill office captures the love and the laughter he brought into people's lives. Schroeder, who worked frequently with George Staff, told Extra the story behind the photo. Every intern in the Capitol had heard he was over there, and they had just backed up all the way down the hall. And I, I kept saying, well, I'm sure they're for me. What do you mean? What do you, why do you think they're for you? <laughs> and we were laughing about that. The October issue of George contains some 30 pages of Kennedy's editor's letters, interviews he conducted, even low-key ads remembering John. But the photos, like this one with his father's old enemy, Fidel Castro, are most powerful. George executive editor Richard Blow. John did get invited to a dinner at the presidential palace, and Castro more or less delivered a five-hour monologue, at which John barely got to speak. Blow says the entire staff worked on the tribute and that it helped heal the scars left by Kennedy's death. And Schroeder feels George has become JFK's legacy to his country. It's refreshing, and I think it's really important, and I hope it doesn't go away. The October issue of George goes on sale on Wednesday.